say uh, a one word about Seba Avenue Park because I love nipping rumors in the bud. Um, the, the part of the, the phase two of Seba Avenue Park that is being built next is the comfort station. It was about a year and a half ago I came here with the design of the comfort station, brought a big picture, I left it with somebody, and we talked about the comfort station. So that's what's being built in the short term. The next phase, which I provided funding for, is in scoping and design. So if you hear some room that we're going to have Sesame Place here on Seba <laughs> Avenue, and that it's going to take up part of the baseball field, that's impossible. Because first of all, we're talking about a little sprinkler thing for the kiddies, all right? And second, no site has been picked, so it couldn't possibly be the case. So before anything happens, there will be a scoping meeting with the community groups, and I guarantee property owners, GB Cares, the Little League, will all be at the table to discuss what that plan is actually going to encompass as they design it. Because I do not, under any circumstances, want to build something in your park that you do not want. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I was asked to extend the top lot. That is definitely what has been funded here. Most full top lots in the city of New York, you know, the ones that they call grade A top lots of the park department, have a small sprinkler area for the kids to run around in the hot day. You'll have the opportunity to tell me if you want that or you don't, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Yes. I just want to ask you about the bathrooms. Um, mm -hmm. Is there going to be a parking there at all times? Or not? The the is there going to be a, a park attendant? Yes. Um, the comfort stations, the, the bathrooms will be open uh, at all times, is my understanding, with a self-locking door. Um, the area in the middle, where, which is going to house the equipment, basically anything that anyone would possibly want to steal, other than toilet paper. Mm -hmm will be locked except when the park attendant will be there and they will be a full-time park attendant. Okay. Well, they'll be locked at night though when kids can't go in there at night. Right. Okay. Right. What do you mean when everyone's allowed to sell blocking? In other words, you walk in, the door locks behind you. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. There was a, uh, Mary, go ahead. You had the question at the meeting. Uh, we, I was at the meeting in your office and uh, that was a question we brought up because we were afraid that, you know, young people would use the bathrooms for other than what they're made for. And I believe we were told that there would be a uh, park attendant. And what, no, well, but yes, you have a full-time park attendant, but right. a full-time park attendant is not there 24 hours a day, seven days no, no. a week. No, no, and the, then yeah. the bathrooms would be Absolutely locked having, yes. when there's no one there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. okay, and definitely at night. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't say that clearly, but yes. One more question Mary asked at that meeting. Oh, yes. And they showed us the plans, and that was, were, were the doors going to be in the back or the front, preferably the front from the avenue, so some people could notice painting was going on. They said they would be on either side. Sides, right. I don't know if that's the best plan, maybe the best plan they have, but it might be worth looking into. I, you know, I, I don't know if that's changeable uh, at this point. I mean, I, I will ask. Um, I will point out that I did come to this room a year and a half ago, so it's under design. So, uh, and, you know, if they're, if they're at the point where they're about to let the contract, I may not be able to, right. to change that. Um, but at least the doors are not in the back. We did learn that. I have to say something because, uh, you know, th this is to me a, a, a very important issue, and I have a feeling that the feeling in the room is going to be very different from the feeling that is transmitted on the internet. There are people who do not believe that we should be fixing the skate park, that we should be redoing Seba Avenue Park, because people in this neighborhood will only destroy it. We can't, don't build a comfort station because there's going to be graffiti. All right? These are comments that I read as, you know, I'm unfortunately notorious for reading blogs and participating on them. These are some comments that I got. Now, I don't believe that that's what this community wants. I need to hear from you. Do you want the top box? Do you want sprinklers? Do you want us to build this comfort station? But believe you me, it's going to cost a million dollars to do, and I think this neighborhood is entitled to any 
park facility than any other neighborhood is entitled to. And, and that is why I have been pumping money into Seba Avenue Park for the last six years. So if that's not the case, other people, I'm sure, would be happy to have the money. But I need to hear from people who believe that so that the only feedback I'm getting aren't the people who say, don't put it here. It'll only wind up with graffiti on it. It'll only wind up getting destroyed again. Uh, you know, our kids will destroy it. I I'm sorry. I, I hope that's not how people feel. But if that's how people feel, tell me. I mean, and, and I, will, you know, I will do what you want. That's kind of what I'm elected to do. Probably, um, probably either late in the winter or early next year. The the uh, uh, the comfort station contracts. I believe the construction begins, you know, November. Um, but the top lot extension is not something that will go out for, for bidding until sometime next year. Uh, and so, you know, I'll try, you know, maybe I can even get Parks to come here and, you know, talk to, talk to you and me. That would be great. You know, I, you know, it's certainly, uh, you know, what, what we usually do is get, you know, the civic leaders in a room so that it's kind of task oriented. But, you know, presentation here wouldn't be a, a bad idea as long as we make sure that the other parties are invested in just like the Little League were represented in the room. Probably be a good thing. I think it's awesome that we're getting this money for our farm. Um, but phase one has a couple of areas that seem like it wasn't quite finished. Well, that, the, the number one being kind of the top lot, which was too, it was like, you know, you know, phase one uh, was the result of money that was cobbled together by the senator, myself, and borough president. And um, they basically were going to build a skate park. And they said, we have a little extra money. We're going to give you a piece of a top lot. Well, they gave us a piece. Okay, and and they didn't they didn't they set it up in a place also so that like you know with the skate park where some of the trees were endangered and whatnot. So they want to do it right this time. Now we have, we're building a top lot in Burton Beach. Uh, it's it's a little farther along than this one is. Parks Department came down, met brought brought the community groups down. We walked the site. We said over here yes, over here no, and they accommodated us. So there's no reason why that can't happen here. So I don't want anyone to think that. You know, the, the, you know, there would be sprinklers in the left field at the little field. You know? My only thing with like the sprinkler system is we already have a sprinkler system. You know, a few blocks away. I think you know. Three quarters of a mile. Right. I mean, it's really not that far. If you want your kids to get wet, I really wish it would be something different. Like you know, we already have that. You know, let's have something different. You know. Such as. I don't know. <laughs> you do parks. I will go to this park. Yeah, and by the way, the, 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 the sprinkler. The reason that parks even suggested it. Was because of the comfort station, we brought water. We bring in water. We brought yeah, the pipe to the water. So the sprinkler part of this is kind of cheap, right. you know, and you know, I don't mean I don't want to use the word inexpensive. Yeah. And and uh, you know, the idea is, you know, it's a hot summer day. You brought your kids to play on the swings, and they work up a sweat. And like, wouldn't it be nice if they could just go right here yeah. and like run through the water? That's what this is. It's not Sesame Place. So like, no, we just got to make sure that it's done right. Not like the park next to the school. Just put it in front of it. Well, you have a park attendant here, so that, you know. Well, no, because in the right. park, they got to touch the thing, the rain goes on, the key to the city, it goes off. You want to back out again, you touch the thing. I, you know, honestly, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on how the sprinklers work, but uh, <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I have a feeling we're about to become one. Well, uh, you, know, you know what not to do now. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Can this stuff be a little bit for older kids than just for toddlers? Mm. Uh, I believe that was expressed in the parks department that it shouldn't just be for the, the little kids. Yeah. That you know, most families. You know, don't only have two-year-olds. You know, and you want to, you know, and I think that I think that is already in their intention. Because they, you know, a lot of the things are for little ones. I have a little one, and I have ones that are a little bit older. But they have this one spinning thing in the center, which is for the bigger kids. But then there's nothing else for my kids to do there except for go on that. I I I, I don't want to swear to it, but I'm pretty sure that's what the design people in the parks department have indicated <coughs> is part of a larger topic. Yeah. 
And there's only two swings. Yeah, no, obviously there could be more. There could be more kitty. Yeah, more swings. That's, that, yeah, that's what started it. You have to have more swings. That's what started it. More swings. The kids were working the sweat. They were the pool. Absolutely. How does that happen, Lou? We spent so much on rebuilding Save the Park. And the immediate concern, two swings for millions of dollars. How did that happen? Well, this, the skate park is what uh, took up most of the money to build. That, That's and, perhaps and, and, and Ray, Ray, the third of the site, and I mean, you barely knew there was a park there. This was, and this was as close to building a park from nothing as we've done. Sure. All right, and you know, I mean. Ray, I just, I just explained that the, the, the couple of swings was a bonus because they had a little extra money, all right? So they did the other part. And, and, then, and phase three, after the comfort station, I will expand that. Okay. Absolutely positive. That, that 